Hi, this is Calvin from HCBR Texas, Build Country Building and Renovation. Today, we're doing our second pour for the apron in front of the shop. We're getting really close to uh, getting this uh, taken care of. So, we poured the uh, concrete slabs last week. Today, we are pouring the exposed aggregate in these uh, three foot borders and so this uh, concrete mix has five eight pebbles rather than just gravel so what we do here is after this is finished they put on a solution of sugar and water and spray it on and then let it set up a little bit and then take a hose and then spray off the top uh, little layer of concrete which exposes the aggregate. And so this is why we call it exposed aggregate. So this kind of breaks up the uh, large concrete slab across the front, give a little detail and so forth. Now you don't see exposed aggregate in Texas very much because they uh, usually uh, stamp and then stain. The problem with the stamp and stain is that the stain does not hold up. It's out in the hot sun and weather and so forth and it fades and after a couple years it's looking pretty bad. Now, the exposed aggregate does not do that. It's made out of rock. It doesn't change color. It does not fade. It does not go away. So this is going to uh, stay looking nice for a long time to come. And so there's no added maintenance with the exposed aggregate. So we're doing this part here. As you can see, we got a whole lot more concrete exposed aggregate going out to the road probably another I don't know I'm guessing about 10,000 square feet of uh, concrete and exposed aggregate to go so but we wanted to uh, we wanted to uh, take care of some of some of it now and uh, not have uh, you know a <laughs> a huge price later so we're going to do it in uh, sections so this is uh, what we're doing here today I'm really uh, looking forward to uh, seeing the finished product because it looks really good we I did this uh, actually a lot in on the west coast in Washington Oregon Idaho so we also poured, extended, we also extended the concrete on the side of the building. Did another 12 feet out here and another 12 feet in the back. So this makes it really nice. We can put stuff back here. Also, I put the uh, downspouts in a uh, PVC pipe so that... Uh, it stays off the concrete and goes out to the side. So, this is the kind of thing we do. So, I'm very pleased that we're finishing up the shop project. And then we will be able to turn our attention to getting the house done. So, we're probably going to be uh, starting the framing on that in the next uh, month or so. I didn't want to start framing the house until I saw my windows, which we ordered six months ago. So, anyways, what's your next awesome project and how can we help you out with that? <laughs>